just to show you some tips about the power slap is, uh, for example, you can still do a boxing hook with a palm, which is good too. Okay. So what I mean by boxing hook is that your your elbow has to be directly behind your attacking point. So if it's like this, elbow down, then you actually when you hit this way, you lose power. So you need to move this elbow to be parallel to the ground, and you need to move this palm so that it's this way. If you hit like this. Here's the flat surface, right? If you're like this, then you're not on, straight on it. You need to bend your palm so that it goes straight on the surface. And this needs to be directly behind. And then most likely you're going to be raising your shoulder to do that. Okay? So from a regular boxing hook, all this is happening from the turn of the heel, hips, shoulders, and make sure that this shoulder comes back. And then this is aligned. So there's a lot of mechanics and it's kind of hard to learn, it's not very natural, but it's still good. So for example, we can do it, I'm just doing it on his shoulder here, okay? Really lightly, okay? Okay, so feel that, right? Okay, so that's pretty good. If you can head somebody back, right on the side of the head, that could be potential knockout. Now, uh, like I said, the power slap is a little bit easier to use and it's uh, more effective because you can use a lot more, right? So I'm gonna show you what happens if I hit with a regular boxing hook with my forearm, not much happening there, right? Or if I hit with my elbow even less, nothing, right? Okay. So you only have this much, or even if you fit fist even less, open up to a pound is a little bit more. Now if you do a slap with a whipping motion, so remember we did the slap, but now we're going to add the whipping motion. Okay. How's that? Okay. And that's just using my forearm. I didn't even use my hand. And I'm even going to use the elbow part. All right. So I use my, and then that, that has some, yeah. not as much, but more than the boxing style, right? Right. Okay. So the reason we it works with the hip or with the whip is because the energy travels down the whole arm instead of just going to one spot. Whipping motion makes it go from all the way from the shoulder down to the arm and wherever it connects, that's where the energy goes. Okay? So when we hit with this, even like this on the neck with the whipping motion, it actually energy goes just as much as if it was on the hat. Alright? So just to practice with the partner, don't hit hard, just hit the shoulder. All right? Practice hitting the hand, okay, then the forearm with the whipping motion. Okay? Then you do even closer to get that motion, okay? So that's adding the whipping power to it, and that would add more power and then more effectiveness for using your whole arm instead of just your hand.